What's up guys, I'm back and go to another video. This is my Nintendo Switch. I was playing Legend of Zelda, War of Grace, whatever. Um, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to clean your Nintendo Switch professionally and correctly. So first you're gonna have to press the power button, hold and press. Power options, turn off. We're gonna turn it off. What we're gonna do, now I have these Joy-Cons over now because I'm trying to try it out. So as you guys can see, the screen is pretty dirty. The back is pretty dirty, as you can see here. Some scratches, you can see, no. Um, the vents are okay, but you can see kind of dirty there. That's permanent, you know, charge port, all this stuff. So what you guys are gonna want, first I'm gonna start with the switch. Oh. Let's see, how can I help myself out? Uh, okay. So these are the pro is what you're gonna need, or at least this is what I think you're gonna need. Uh, uh, we'll see. Is there it? Microfiber, microfiber towel, um, alcohol pad or alcohol, whatever. Um, Q-tips. No, I forgot some of the things probably, but I'll find out later. Um, no, it all depends how many uh, controllers you have and stuff you have, you know. This can work for all of them. You know, like if you have a, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Like for your Pro Controller, for your for your Joy Cons, for your other controllers, whatever you may use, this is gonna help you. Direct it like that. Okay. There we go. Alrighty. Um. So first, what you're gonna have to do, or what you want to do, is separate. It depends what you're doing first. I'm gonna do the console. So step one: remove everything else. Joy Cons, whatever, remove everything. What you're gonna to want to start with is the screen. So get your alcohol pads or whatever you have that's you know based on alcohol. Uh, with this, and I'm actually gonna put the microphone like, towel under my switch. I don't wanna scratch it. Um, just because I just got a replacement. Wipe it down like this. And I see the little um water, you know, droplets, whatever. This is what you need a microfiber towel for. Just wipe it down. This, boom, look at that, shiny, no fingerprint or nothing. You're gonna have to do the same thing for the back, switch, swipe it all down. I like to do circular motion, you know, like this, get everything, like that, then end it like that, make sure you get the vents. Clean out this port right here that con that connects with the dock, or that makes contact with the dock. Um, at the bottom, do the same thing. You do the same thing all around. You know, um, make sure that port's clean. That's probably your charger switch. Um, clean the side railings. All of it just with uh, prepping alcohol or rubbing alcohol. That's what it's called. Uh, just like that. You see a little spot, white spot right there. I think that's actually the metal very chart starting to wear off on me. Anyways, oh yeah, also the top, the vents, the power buttons, everything, because those are like what, you know, the grease of your fingers get stuck to. A little more. No, because grease is pretty hard to get rid of, especially on plastic and stuff. It's like that. Yeah, like, like if it's coming off whenever you're doing circular motions, that's good, but if you want to get, you know, good, Good clean, clean up just like that. Then use your microfiber towel. You have one. Wipe it all down like that. Sorry, it looks really zoomed in, but like that's how it is. I guess we're recording. Now, as you can see, I have a little spot right here. Can't really right there. You see, so I'm gonna go with it again. Cause if you don't get these little spots cleaned up soon, they're gonna get bigger. And they're gonna be harder to clean up with time. I'm not now I'm actually adding a lot of pressure or as much as I can and it's like that it's gone Let's see it's not there anymore just a little just a little because uh, whenever you use the alcohol pads you use like a little layer but just with the microphone towel cleans up so that's the switch get this one right here that's the switch right there I'm done so now with the joy cons now as you guys look Look all that came off of that, of the port, the charger port. That's what came out right there. 
the grime. And then for the Joy-Cons, um, the Joy-Cons are a little bit tricky. I'm gonna show you guys how to do your Pro Controller, or other, like, pro, uh, your Pro Controller, or other controllers. Oh shoot, you might have. Um, no, honestly, I like to clean my Switch, like, not every day, but like once a week, or twice a week. Cause I just, you know, number one, I distract myself from what's going on around me. Like right now, I have a pandemic, COVID-19 stuff. Nothing really to worry about, but you know. Okay, so guys, right here. So you get your Joy-Con, you get the pad, do circular motion like that. Make sure you got the grease, hand grease, all that stuff. Oh, are there any um, stuff all over it, just like that. You know, clean it all, you know, all around. And, you know, it makes it clean. All the grease, all the grime, just comes right off. You know, should do it on a flat surface too. So what I like to do for the um, stick right here, just go like that, wipe it until it's super shiny. Just like that, reflective. And then just let it dry up, that's what you have to do. Same thing over here. Now the thing is, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little bit of red on this because it's like alcohol, you know, rubbing alcohol. So just press on the button. There's no, it's not. And if it goes in the buttons or whatever, it's don't like squeeze it. Don't get like a, a cotton ball and put rubbing alcohol and like squeeze it through the buttons. Cause that might, I mean, it doesn't rust, you know, the metal, but it's not the best idea. You know, it's not something really good you could do. You know, all around the joystick, the buttons. Oh, these buttons are a big one right here. All, all these little buttons, the picture button, are big things. You will start to notice progress after lots of time. Because if you don't clean your Joy-Cons out, if you just leave them like this, then you're gonna notice a lot of difference. How to clean your Nintendo Switch tutorial. Just like that. No. Okay, so now, um, if you do or if you don't, I have a Pro Controller, um, so, you guys just do the same thing on this. Just press the buttons. Now, the reason why I tell you to turn off your switch, which look, I'm pressing all the buttons. It's trying to locate it, but the switch off. So it's not gonna like mess around with your controls and stuff. So just, you know, to do that, you should be good. Just do that like in circular motion, get all the buttons stuff and you should be good, you know? That all around, all around, all around. Now what this does is that, I don't know, actually I have a, oh yeah. Um, this just, you know, like I was saying, it gets your mind off stuff and you get a feeling of achievement and stuff, you know? Like, oh wow, I did something today. <laughs> like playing video games a lot. I know sometimes you guys might be snacking or something or playing video games or eating and you might grab your stick, you know, cause you don't wanna get, you don't wanna die in the game or something, but. Now, I don't, know, I don't know if all of you guys get this, but my Pro Controller gets a lot of, like, I don't know what this is. It might be dust or something. It looks like dust. I don't know what the heck that is. Dead skin cells, but, you know, because I move it around like this and like that. That is interesting right there. Comment down below if you guys get this. I don't know how that happens. Comment down below and if you guys also get this, because that's kind of, it gets on my nerves a little bit. So have to clean it all the time. And just keep doing that, and when you do that, just go like this all around. Make sure you don't uh, stab it in there, deeper in the little joystick, bottom. Do that, and look, you can see. If you're doing that for a couple of seconds, so you guys can see how it's now. Totally clean, compared to this one. This one has just a little bit, but like, still. Do it like that. Just like that, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so the Pro Controller's done. That's nice. So what I'm gonna do right now is put these little cases on here. I got it from GameStop. Um, they're pretty good, you know. One thing, they protect your Joy-Con from falling on. It's just easy, you know, attachment. Um, they, pr they prevent your Joy-Con from falling out, you know, or no. They prevent your Joy-Con from falling not falling. I mean, they prevent your Joy Cons from like getting destroyed when they fall or something. It was twenty. It was not twenty bucks. It was ten dollars, I think. Really nice deal. 
And it has the whole thing too, you know, the case and everything. Make sure to wipe it down and everything. Clean it with your uh, microfiber towel and just gonna, like, slap it in place. So that, snap it in there. Um, I recommend you guys get a case, number one. It's nice, you know, depends what case you get, but it's nice. And also, you can use it on the dock. I'll show you guys right there. As you can see, it's dockable. And this way, you don't scratch it. As you can guys see, if I would have put this on sooner, I wouldn't have these scratches on my switch. But no, I had to just, you know, not put the case on. But that's what it prevents, and it goes in. Just fine, hold on, there's something. I mean, it's a little tight squeeze, but I mean, like, you guys see right here? Charging the green light right here. It means it's on, it's good. And over here is bad, bad. Look at this dude. I am the one, the way your time don't need a gun to get respect up on the street.